Hey guys, I've been doing a whole lot of hydroponic growing lately and with that comes all kinds of questions. People asking about which methods are best, how do I put the stuff together, where do you buy the parts and supplies from, and also the questions about the fertilizer itself. Are the plants fit to eat? Are they good for you? Is there anything that you need to worry about in using a commercial water soluble fertilizer? I'm sure you've heard the saying, there's nothing new under the sun. Over the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to demonstrate exactly how that applies to fertilizers. Recently, I posed the question, what has changed in the last 50 years in terms of gardening and food production? Was it the seeds, the herbicides, pesticides, the way the food was packaged and processed and uh, distributed through the stores, or was it the fertilizers? Let's start with the first one, the seeds. Think about it from a commercial standpoint, the big crops in the fields, the corn, the soybeans, uh, you got canola, sugar beets, those things are now 90% of them genetically modified. That's a big difference over what we had even 25, 30 years ago. Just about everything you get from the grocery store that has a derivative of the corn, soybeans, canola, sugar beets is going to have a GM component to it. I said this last fall, if you are concerned about the GMO issue, genetically modified seed stuff, your fight is not in your garden. Your fight needs to be in the grocery store. That's where you're going to make a change at. There is nothing you can do in your garden that is going to affect what is going on with the GM issue. As long as people continue to go to the grocery store and buy all of that stuff and bring it home, ain't nothing going to change. Me personally, I choose to just focus my efforts on gardening and growing more and more of my own food. That way I use less and less of what's in the grocery store. That's the route that I take. Have the herbicides changed? You bet they have. Everybody's familiar with Roundup and everybody's heard the stories I'm sure about the weeds that are now becoming Roundup resistant. It doesn't kill them anymore. So they have to come out with another herbicide where they spray Roundup and then they come out with something else to spray behind it to kill the stuff that Roundup doesn't kill. All of this stuff is being sprayed on the food that is taken to the grocery stores. That's where it ends up. Look at the pesticides. You got all kinds of insect pests that have to be dealt with. The crops are sprayed heavily with it. Some of them get resistant. They have to bring a different brand in, spray something else on there, trying to keep up with the bugs. Again, this stuff is harvested. It is processed, canned, bagged, whatever. Ends up in the grocery store for people to be eaten. Has the packaging and processing changed? Again, absolutely. You think about the way that they're picking food nowadays. You end up with salmonella in the grocery stores. Look at the labels in your cans, your jars, your boxes, bags, and you can't even read the ingredients on there anymore. It's, you need a chemistry degree to be able to understand what's going on. That's a big change over what we had, you know, 40, 50 years ago. But have the fertilizers changed? If you come from a farming background, think about when you were growing up. What kind of fertilizer did you use? We used the triple 10, and I think we side dressed the tobacco and corn with 3400 ammonia nitrate. All of those nitrates, the phosphates, the sulfates, those things have been around for many, many years, many decades. They're not brand new. As best I can tell, the fertilizers I'm using today is the same stuff I used when I was a kid. Now let's look at it from a hydroponic standpoint. This is a bag of a hobby formula, the 10822 from Hydro Gardens. It's their ChemGrow product. This is the one you just mix it with the magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt and you get you a nice good fertilizer. I'm going to zoom in on this bag so you can get a very good look at the label. I want you to pause the video and read the ingredients in this fertilizer. Look at the ingredients in here. So what did this label have on it? It had the nitrates, the phosphates, the sulfates, the micronutrients, all of those stuff that your plant needs to be able to grow properly in a hydroponic setup. And as far as the taste goes, the taste is fine. Is it ever going to be quite as good as what you get outside? I don't think it's possible, but it's going to be pretty darn close. I get no complaints from anybody about anything that I'm growing around here. Give your plants the fertilizer that you think it needs and it will let you know whether or not you're doing the right thing. Now let's talk about the liquid hydroponic fertilizers. This is the Fox Farm Grow Big that I have been using. It's a very good product. It didn't work the way I had anticipated, but I'm going to get it figured out and at least uh, make what's left out of this bottle, make it produce something. But this is the one, this is hydroponic plant food. 
contains the trace minerals. Nowhere on this bottle does it say anything about being organic. When you look at those, the bloom and grows formulas from different manufacturers, a lot of the hydroponic formulas, if they've got a complete 326 or a 364 or whatever it is, majority of those are going to have the exact same stuff in them as was in that water soluble hobby formula from Hydro Gardens. You don't believe me? I'm going to zoom in on this label right here. I want you to read this label very carefully and see how many of these components you recognize versus what was in that first bag. When you compare those two labels, you don't see a whole lot of differences. I see a ton of similarities there. That the only difference I saw was the, uh, the earthworm castings and some of the kelp that's in this bottle right here. As I said earlier, when it comes to fertilizers, there really is nothing new under the sun. It's the same stuff been using for years and years, just maybe a little bit of additive or something like that, but when you boil it all down, it ain't nothing changed. But don't take my word for it. I want you to look up Fox Farm, General Hydroponics, Advanced Nutrients. Those are some of the big ones. Very well known, very reputable companies, make very good fertilizers. I look up some of the bloom and the grow uh, formulas and take a look at the label. You may have to click a PDF or something like that. But what you're going to see, majority of the time, is the same thing. The nitrates, phosphates, sulfates, and the, uh, the micronutrients right here. They're all using the same thing. What's the difference between this and what I got in this bag down here on the ground? The biggest difference is that stuff falling from the sky a little while ago, H2O. People ask me why I prefer to use the water soluble versus using the liquid fertilizers. Simple as this folks, I don't need to buy any water. I got plenty of water around here. If you will concentrate this down and take the water out of it, it'll probably be way down here somewhere. I don't need a big bottle of water. I can mix up my own fertilizers. Not taking away anything from these guys, it's a good product, but from my perspective, it makes sense for me to buy the water soluble stuff and add my own water to it. And to wrap this up, for anybody who is remotely concerned about using water soluble or the liquid fertilizers in a hydroponic situation, in my opinion, you have nothing to be worried about. If you are truly concerned about your health and physical well-being, you would take these fertilizers and whatever other kind of fertilizer you can find, whether it be conventional or hydroponic or organic, whatever it happens to be, you would take what you have to and go grow your own vegetables. Grow your own food. Leave that stuff in the store right where it's at, in the jars, on the shelf, in the boxes. If you will do that, I promise you, your health will improve greatly. There is nothing in these fertilizers that is going to affect your body anywhere near as much as that crap you get in the grocery store, period. So I hope that was helpful. Y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.